when we were talking about model conceptualization, um, you know, we talked about model purpose as a logical knife. And one of the uh, heuristics I noted is that many problems, uh, many models are designed to um, address some, some need. And, and often that need comes in the form of a very, very, very specific question. Um, and you can, you could try to articulate the model purpose uh, as a question. Sometimes it's a research question. You know, we want to find the answer to some query. Maybe it's, um, you know, if we could change this by this amount, if we could introduce more supervised consumption sites um, paired with effective treatment programs, you know, um, uh, how, how much could that help lower the, the burden of, of um, opioid deaths or, you know, um, um, how, how can we help assess whether certain trends noted historically might be explained by this type of connection between gestational and type two diabetes or what have you, might, might be plausibly explained by that. Um, uh, models can serve many purposes. Sometimes it's to um, also ask what if questions about vulnerabilities to external circumstance. So um, in, in one recent exchange with a student, you know, about climate change and, and the possible impacts of climate change um, uh, on, on social disruption, etc. Um, these are all things that the models can be looked at. And often it's useful to have a question. It does bear noting that some modeling projects, you know, aspire sort of to instrumental goals. Uh, maybe that's not the, the per perfect world for it, a word for it, but you know, some models aim to, to build up dialogue between different groups who don't normally sit down on the same table. Um, uh, and, and model purpose can include things beyond you know information in response to a query or or uh, a a question or a research question often it, it can involve you know catalyzing some change in thinking or some change in uh in organizational relationships um uh, one of more my more powerful experiences early on in my modeling career in the public uh, uh, space of dealing with public systems was when we were uh, dealing with a higher educational system, which uh, had been for years constantly fighting for funding um, from the, and this was in the US, from a state government. Um, and their primary, their most proximal um, sort of opponent, and in their struggle for funds was another part of the educational system. It was the K through 12 system, the, the you know, the, the high schools and, and, and elementary schools and middle schools. And the universities wanted more money and often they felt that the outlay for education was being taken up by the K through 12 system and robbing the universities of their rightful due. And uh, one of the most powerful things that came from our modeling work was that it broke down those barriers. And um, specifically the university system realized um, to use a, a, a Canadian and perhaps uh, particularly Saskatchewan term, we're hooped unless um, we work together with the K through 12 system, because we're downstream of K through 12. And if K through 12 doesn't have the funding they need, we end up picking up the pieces as the university. We end up, you know, having all sorts of issues with student dropout and, and inability to attract the, you know, the, uh, the, the quality students we need and, and inability to, to, to conduct the research we need. And so it ended up, uh, the model ended up catalyzing a coalition between these two parties, which traditionally have been at loggerheads for funding to work together to lobby the state government to fund education, you know, more fully, um, to grow the pie, in other words, rather than arguing over about who gets which slice of pie. And, and that was a real uh, sea change in thinking brought about by a model. So 
you know, models can't have many purposes. And often it comes down to a question that you can crisply articulate. And that question will help drive the model purpose that will, um, um, will then, uh, you know, shape what goes into the model um, over time as you work towards the model goals. And so, you know, think a little bit about what you're trying to achieve with the model. What, what would success be with the model? What, what would count as success? Or, or, or what would you hope to, to get from the modeling? Um, that'll be a good, you know, thing to think about for your, your brief um, uh, write-up on, you know, your paragraph on what you're hoping to, to work on. Um, you know, I'm, this is not a situation where you have to put in a paragraph you feel is fully defensible. You can, you should be open and honest if you're really uncertain about some things and you need help figuring something out. If you're totally lost on something, please bring those to my attention and, you know, I'll work with you on it. Um, in many ways, this document is designed not only to get you thinking about it, but to, to help alert me to resources that might be useful to you. And, you know, for every model, I'm hoping to refer you to some, so every project, I'm hoping to refer you to some example models, um, potentially people, um, uh, literature, um, and, and other resources that might, might help you on your modeling journey. Okay, so um, just, just a comment uh, there. Um, oh, so no attachment? Okay, um, so I'm, I'm seeing the, the chat messages. Um, maybe I'll stop the recording here, but um, uh, I thought it was attached in the text, but maybe something went wrong. Give me a second here. So I 